think we just have to lost our job. We are gonna find this. Like, you know Bro, these are like the places where snakes live. Oh yeah, found the drone. Oh god. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Opinions Matter. Skydio, uh, right now, as you can see, they have launched a new drone. It's called Skydio 2. As you saw in the channel, um, I do build uh, custom drones like this, um, which are like for, you know, like not a hobby purpose. It's more for like a cine acro. Uh, I do a lot of stuff where I actually chase down, you know, a lot of cars and everything. So if I am getting a shoot or anything that requires uh, much more speed or agility, that's where I'm going to use this. What about autonomous drones? And autonomous drones is how we started, how I started and you started. So Skydio, on the other hand, actually is giving you a lot of stuff that might you might rethink to buy a DJI Mavic Air or a Mavic 2 Pro or a Mavic 2 Zoom. I have tested out all of these products in the channel. They are linked down below. So you know that it's not coming from a person who doesn't have experience in the field. Coming back to the Skydio R1, uh, you will find a link below. And right now, as you can see, uh, it is having a 4K 60 HDR, 36 miles per hour. Now, uh, quads like this goes at 40, 45, um, I have even pushed uh, these with a 6S for like a 65 miles an hour. So this is very good if you're trying to chase down, you know, like fast moving objects and stuff like that. But uh, Auto Evo on the other hand gives you 45 miles an hour. But I'm going to come down why Skydio wins. It's not about the 4K 60 HDR or 36 miles per hour or not. Watch this. So they have introduced three ways of flying, a Skydio Beacon, an iOS app and a controller. So basically all of you guys, those who were doing sports and stuff like mountain biking, extreme sports, you guys wanted a drone. Now for those drones to follow you, you have to draw a circle do a, or drop a box. In DJI world, it's known as Active Track, uh, Active Track 2.0 and all that stuff. And in Autel world, it's known as Dynamic Track. So um, all of these drones, they have a chipset. You know, either they are running an ARM Cortex or uh, they are running Intel processors and stuff like that. Uh, these guys, mini quads, they are based on ARM Cortex processors. So they have like F4, F7 flight controllers. On the other hand, the Skydio is using, that's amazing because it has 256 GPU cores. And uh, when it comes to obstacle avoidance, there's something you guys need to know about. Now, Active Track 2.0 is amazing, but Active Track 2.0, sometimes in the forest or sometimes when you're trying to go through extreme spaces, it cannot calculate, right? And also, you need to carry your controller and all that stuff. But it's totally eliminated with the Skydio R2 or the Skydio 2, you can say. Now, uh, why? How is it possible? Here is a graph of it. So. As you can see that whenever uh, the Skydio flies, it has cameras all around and when it is flying, it is sensing everything around its space. If you're doing aerial videography for living and stuff like that, uh, imagine you will understand this or you will relate to this because if you are a videographer, uh, watch this shot very carefully and see how hard it is to make a shot like that. So if you are a manual pilot, 
so at first you're going straight then you your left and then on your other hand or your other finger you're trying to position the camera track it your left again you are using so basically all you're doing is you're constantly adjusting your level of flight so either you're throttling up a bit or decreasing your throttle yawing left and right and then suddenly you have to pitch forward and then guess what happens also a lot of the times when we are making i'm making shots like that i feel that you know like i do not have any sense on the right or the left so if i'm banking around and i'm trying to follow a subject from the top i do not have any position or you know i all i do is that i have like a spatial orientation and i try to use my spatial orientation which is just a guess guesswork basically if there is an obstacle on the left and right and you are flying blind hence autonomous technology wins because a pilot can make an error but an autonomous technology is uh, having better accuracy over the pilot so that is the reason you're getting all those features built in a drone now that is amazing so if you are holding the beacon on your hand or you have put it on your backpack and in anything uh, you get a range of 1.5 kilometers uh, typically that is kind of the range for these guys mini quads but if you are running a crossfire you probably can go way way farther than this um, then uh, you know like uh, if you are uh, using the controller you get 3.5 kilometers i know that uh, dj boasts 8 kilometers but sometimes you don't need 8 kilometers if you are doing like uh, extreme sports watch the navigation camera system so it has six cameras in trinocular configuration top and bottom six cameras they have 4k uh, sony 1 by 3 inch cmos sensors uh, what is that called who is the manufacturer of this company skydio parrot has been making drones for a long time now skydio uh, is an american drone so there is no tariff supplied that is the reason you are getting this for 999 so if you have any other questions do write a comment section below i will try to find out uh, more infos about this if you bought this drone do share a link uh, or do uh, email me directly to my email address so that i can share this with all my subscribers and all those people those who are very curious to know what this uh, drone holds and uh, third thing uh, if you like this presentation give me a big thumbs up like and do subscribe to the channel So take care see you guys on another episode goodbye